Hey, run. <laughs> hey, run junkies. Welcome to Runners Without Limits TV. Dopey Challenge Training Week 12. By the end of this week, I will be halfway through this training cycle to Dopey. So, kind of a big week. Uh, so, lots and lots of miles to go. But we're rebuilding again. Today is the Chicago Marathon, so I'm celebrating that. Not just the Chicago Marathon and all the runners who are doing that, but how amazing this weekend has been for the running and endurance community. Amazing Ironman World Championships this weekend. Uh, Chicago Marathon, I've got like four, five athletes, five athletes racing this weekend and I'm so stinking proud of all of them. So if you raced this weekend, I hope it was amazing. And if you're running, doing a training run, hope your training is going well. But all that said, speaking of training, let's get this done. Have some fun this weekend. We rebuild up into the end of October. By Halloween, I will have done my first simulation week. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that later on. I'm gonna do something kind of fun and special for that. But I really wanna thank so many of you for all of your encouragement and support, especially with my fundraising campaigns. Guys, I think this is probably the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Dopey challenge training, I got this. The fundraising side has been a nerve wracking challenge. And I wanna thank so, all of you who have donated to Sophie and Madigan's Playground and to Team MSAA. So I wanna thank you all so much for that. Um, I'm taking way too much time and I need to get running. So we'll check in with you later. Okay. It's Monday morning, about a 45 minute run. It was supposed to be a free run today. I was gonna take Miko the Wonder Mutt, but <laughs> he decided, no, he did not want to run with me today. He wanted to go to the park to throw a ball. Fine, it's fine. So I decided I was gonna take Mindy for an easy run. It's one thing about these free runs, they are, they aren't, they do not require speed work. If I feel like doing speed work, great. Today I don't. Um, this is one of the first weeks where I have five runs in the week. So yesterday, 60, 45 today, uh, then 30, 60, and three and a half hours. So along with all of the walking on top of that. So I'm gonna conserve a little bit of energy this week to make sure that I'm healthy going into the last run of this week. Also, this week is nuts. Um, my son comes home last night saying, okay, yeah, I've got a full day of school Monday and Tuesday. No school Wednesday, but we have a meet. It's our last meet. Thursday, half day, because they're taking the PSAT. Friday, no school because of fall break. Uh, I wasn't ready for any of that. <laughs> I'm kind of struggling today. Glad I decided not to do speed work. Um, I was up at four with my brain ready to go. So I got up, got some work done, cranked out a bunch of stuff. And by the time I get my son out of bed, I am spent. I spend that men mental energy and I just, 
I want to be done. I want to go back to bed. But getting in the run is kind of the next thing. Get this done, get the workout done, and, and then I can get on with the rest of my day. You know, some days we, we don't feel it. So I'm gonna finish this out. I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad it was an easy day because even the easy feels hard. Also, I did leg day yesterday. Didn't occur to me until halfway through this run. My legs aren't so much sore, but I'm definitely fatigued. Every day does not exist in a vacuum. We have this cumulative effect of our training that we absolutely have to consider. This one, can't wait. You just can't wait. All right, a little bit weird today and I'm taking my time getting out. Uh, Soren doesn't have school today, but he has meat. I'm aware, I am aware that you really wanna go running because your brother went to the park without you. You can wait, give me a minute. Um, so no school for Soren, he does have a meet. Um, it is the last meet of the season and he is so tired this past couple of days. He's just been so completely worn out. He had um, an athlete dinner last night, um, came home at like 7.30, took a shower, went straight to bed and he's still in bed. Uh, he has been in bed now for 12 hours. So I think he's tired. So I'm gonna let him sleep in. I have my first three day progression, progressive uh, runs. Um, today is 30 minutes, tomorrow is 60 minutes, and then my long run on Friday is gonna be over three hours. So kind of reminding myself what it feels like to run on tired legs. Now these progressive days start showing up more frequently for the next two months, really through kind of mid-December. Go running. minute run with pickups today I did not want to do it I'm getting to that point and I had to think about it for a second it just occurred to me we're halfway through the training plan and no matter how long the training plan is how long the cycle is I always start to feel the burnout about halfway through so it's just a matter of fighting through the burnout listening to my body I'm tired um, it's a very, quite a chaotic week, more so than usual. So just getting through the midway point of the training cycle. It gets harder before it gets easier, but it never always gets worse.
Friday morning long run, three hours, 30 minutes. I was reminded this morning that October to November are the two hardest months. This is, this is the hardest part of the training because it's the highest volume. It's got the most running. It takes up the most time, the most energy. This is the ultimate in build phases of training. So October's tough because you have three progressively longer runs, finishing with your stimulation week. And I'm just looking at like, not even today, but I'm looking two weeks down the line, thinking of my simulation week and going, I know I've done it before. I know I can do it again. But this week took a lot out of me, it took a lot out of my family. And uh, I will be ready for a rest day tomorrow. On the struggle bus today, five miles in, about a third of the way through. I'm in my own head and uh, just trying to put one foot in front of the other. Uh, it's a mental slog today, you guys. And remember, this happens. It's normal and it's <coughs> part of the process. And if I turned around now, I'd still end up with five or 10 miles, which is good. But I'm trading for Dopey. And I don't turn around when it gets hard. I keep going forward all the way to this finish line. Um, yeah, I'm definitely through the halfway point and I'm feeling the burn. Halfway point of the training plan. Um, halfway to Dopey. And it gets harder. It does get harder. It will get harder. Next week is probably gonna suck. The week after that's gonna be even harder than this or not. If I keep going today, if I keep pushing through for one more mile, two more miles, then I turn around and I have to do it all the way back home. Um, I'll get there, I'll get there, but it doesn't have to be pretty and it doesn't have to be fun. In fact, it's just gonna suck and I know that. The sooner I can wrap my brain around that, the more victory I'm gonna feel on the end. Guys, if you're struggling with your long runs, it's real. It's a real thing. And don't dismiss it. Don't feel like you can't do it. Don't feel like this is this is the thing here, you guys. Long runs are meant to hurt. They are meant to be a suffer fest because we don't get better. We don't get stronger. We can't run longer without pushing ourselves outside of our comfort zones a little bit. Okay? That's what the long run is for. It's not meant to be fun. It's not meant to be something that we look forward to, but it does make the difference. So trust the training, trust that you are exactly where you need to be, no matter how it feels. Maybe it feels good, maybe it doesn't, but you are exactly what you are doing, exactly what you're supposed to be doing, okay? I'm gonna go finish this run because I am tired. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to close it out today, you guys, but before I do, I want to thank everyone who uh, donated to Team MSAA for the Sparkle Athletic Skirt Raffle, this guy right here. I held the drawing this morning, and Amy is the winner of that, so congratulations, Amy, and I will be reaching out to you via email to get some information from you so I can get this out to you. But thank you again to everyone who has donated to Team MSAA. I am so close. As of Saturday morning, I'm so close. I'm within like $150 of my minimum to uh, finish out that um, fundraiser. I also have miles left in the marathon. And if you check out my Instagram stories at Coach Heather J, you'll see which miles I have left to sponsor. Now, here's the thing about the sponsoring a mile. I... I'm really happy with how these came out. So I am making bibs to wear on the back. Now, obviously this is for the Wine and Dine Half Marathon, but these are the sponsors uh, for the Wine and Dine Half Marathon. Um, I'm actually gonna make a bib out of this and put it on my back. So um, this, is, this is what I have in mind for 
all of the races. I have one of these for each of the races. They're actually printed on Tyvek paper. They're laser printed. And uh, I'm really excited about how they turned out. So if you want to sponsor a mile, um, please check out the link in the description and definitely check out my Instagram because that's where you'll find uh, all of that information as well. This week, this coming week, is the last week I will be uh, fundraising, at least for a while, to for Team MSAA. Because of fundraising minimums, and I have three of them going on at the same time, uh, I am gonna switch over to Sophie and Madigan's Playground. I already did my fundraising for Sophie and Madigan for Wine and Dine, but I'm also, uh, working with them again for Princess. So there will be more information coming up next week for a pledge drive that I'm actually going to be doing for my simulation mock weekend. So please stay tuned. I'll be uh, sending up posts about that. Again, that is for Sophie and Madigan's Playground. If you want to know more about that charity, I did a charity spotlight on them earlier this year. So check out this link right here. Uh, that's really going to do it. It was a rough week. Adding that fifth run this week was, was pretty tough, but um, it does get harder from here. It's going to get to be more challenging, but that's kind of what we sign up for, right? Um, I knew that going in and it's just, you know, it's all coming back to me now that, it, yeah, this is a mental slog, that it's going to be harder that sometimes it's it's not fun um, and that sometimes we do have to mentally push through. If there's one thing I've learned so far in the last 12 weeks is how much of a mental game this is. And we just have to keep kind of pushing through and, and remind ourselves that, yeah, physically we can probably handle it. Uh, it's the mental side of it that... Uh, I think is is what the training is really about. So just keep that in mind. It's not always going to be easy. It's not always going to be fun, but it is going to be rewarding. That's a guarantee. So uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. Again, halfway, I'm halfway through. I know Galloway folks, you're about 16 weeks in, um, but this is the halfway point of my training plan. It gets worse before it gets better. Um, but it's actually going to be here before we know it. Wine and Dine is in three weeks. Oh my gosh. But that's going to do it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. What My question for you today is, uh, how's the mental game coming? You doing all right? <laughs> Just hang in there. It's going to be here before you know it. Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions for future videos in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, remember you have no limits. Happy running. Oh my gosh, I can't take you running until I foam roll.